This is a 1967 United States jet pilot survival knife from the Vietnam War. It's in extremely good condition. One of my favorite collectibles ever. It's in great shape. Um, everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be down to the gray paint on the butt of the knife right there. You probably can't see it too clear. Um, actually, no wonder I got it turned the wrong way. But um, it does have the stamp on there. Uh, the brand is um, 1967. It's hard to read, but it's there. Camelus, New York, 1967, 5-1967. Anyway, leather handle. Um, it's been carelessly sharpened by the soldier or whatever. Um, extremely sharp, though. Whoever sharpened it, you could tell that the service taught them how to do it. Um, the ridges of that saw are super sharp. So, And then um, came even with the stone still in there. But you can see it's had some use. It's got a pit there. But, uh, yeah, this is the kind of stuff I love to collect. Just definitely one of my favorite things. And used to, there was some writing here. Even before I got it, it was already worn away. But uh, it also said, you know, 1967 and all that on there. But, uh, yeah, I thought it was really cool. Uh, United States Jet Pilot Survival Knife. And um, I did see some of these on eBay and you know for bidding wars and stuff like that but you know what this one guy auctioned one off in poor condition he started the bidding at 120 dollars my thing is is why on earth would you want to sell something like that you know why would you want to get rid of it it's just classic americana i mean i love it i truly love it guys welcome back to the tried truth my name is Mike thanks for stopping by today I want to review a release from 2014 this is um, Dior um, Fahrenheit perfume uh, it's for men but uh, it's it's called perfume so it's a stronger concentration than the original uh, even though there's been a lot of flankers but uh, it was Fahrenheit which was released probably in the 80s Anyway, it's stood the test of time for a reason. It is some really good stuff. Uh, this right here, I don't know if it's on your radar yet, but uh, hopefully after you see this video, you'll consider picking this one up. Um, I got to tell you, it instantly became one of my favorites uh, of all time. And um, I applied it about 15 minutes ago. I couldn't wait. I was so anxious to get this. So... But yeah, I wanted to do an unboxing and first impression, but I was super excited. I waited and waited for this one. Um, right now, I uh, believe on FragranceNet, it only comes in one size, and it's, uh, I, I want to say roughly with shipping and everything, it's still under $130. So you can definitely pick it up. They do offer 35% off right now. Uh, anyway, this is an Oriental Spicy. Uh, the Accords are Vanilla, Ozonic, Rum, Aquatic, Soft, Spicy, Leather, Powdery, Sweet, Musky, and Green. And um, as far as when you can wear this one, it's pretty much uh, colder weather like winter, some spring, mostly fall, winter. You can wear it in the summer, but maybe like as a date night fragrance or whatever. Very nice presentation, very nice packaging. Um, Dior usually goes goes above and beyond with their, their boxes and the information you get on there as far as the notes and the breakdown and everything. Anyway, this was released in 14, um, and um, I'll go over the notes with you. And they are um, the top, as this, when you first apply this, this is what you should pick up right away, is the suede, the licorice, Sicilian mandarin. And then the middle is uh, violet leaf rum, coriander, and cumin. And the base is just bourbon vanilla. Um, as, as simple as that may sound, this is a, a very, very complex fragrance. Um, the transition 
over the last 15 minutes has just been completely seductive and intoxicating. It's just, um, wow, it's just an attention grabber. Uh, my wife, she was sitting on the other side of the kitchen when I, I sprayed this on my wrist. And uh, she picked it up within 10 seconds. I didn't even have to go near her. Uh, this one gets a lot of reviews. As far as longevity, it's long lasting to eternal um, and with a very strong silage. So this one will get picked up easily if you wear it, let's say to church or um, to an event, uh, whatever. This you can pretty much wear this anywhere, anytime. I, I just, um, you know, negotiate the amount of sprays you're going to use for whatever the setting so I wouldn't want to offend anyone I, I don't know if you know if you want, wanted to wear this to dinner or whatever you might want to go easy uh, because it is strong stuff now there have been a lot of flankers of this over over the years but this one here um, er, you know you can watch other reviews on this everybody's gonna say the same thing this is a home run by Dior uh, the original Fahrenheit I do have a bottle of that on its way it should be here tomorrow I went ahead and picked up the 6.7 ounce bottle of that uh, from Gift Express, and that was like $105, but then I got 5% off, brought it down to $100, so that was a no-brainer, plus that'll help this to last a little bit longer, even though the, the scent profile is the same, the DNA is in here, but they did take out some of that petroleum type of uh, scent, they calmed it down in this. Now, it does still, at first especially, spell still a little bit like the original Fahrenheit, but uh, it really does its own thing. And this is just some really delightful stuff. As, as far as um, similarities, some people, uh, there's a long list of what this reminds people of, but there's other versions of Dior Fahrenheit, of course. There's one called Hit Fire. I don't know who makes that one. There's a La Lique here, a Mercedes-Benz here. Um... A couple of others, uh, Jupe Wow, I guess. Um, there's a YSL, a CH, a CH uh, Men, whatever. There's a few out there that, that are similar to this. And also, um, one of the other things I wanted to point out is that um, this is considered a unisex fragrance. And um, as far as that goes, I mean... I suppose, I suppose anybody could wear this, but um, anyway, real quick, this is the box, you know, when I pulled the cellophane off, there was a, in the pleat there where it's folded over, there was a Dior sticker, and I tried to save it, but uh, just got destroyed in the whole unboxing and stuff, so, but for a 2.5 ounce, that's 75 ml, that's the only size you can get this in, so, it's definitely, um, you know, you're going to want to make it last, go easy with it, but it's super concentrated. So, I mean, it's not like you're, you're going to use it overnight or anything and it won't take much, maybe three, four sprays tops with this one. And like I said, it's just a real beautiful bottle. Got the Dior symbol there. It's also on, yeah, it's also on that part of the cap. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. But, um, anyway, yeah, it's just really, really nice guys. I'm telling you. Great atomizer, but uh, I, I do recommend this one. Um, you can definitely blind buy it, blind buy it safe. You know, I, I don't know as as far as saying whether or not it's pricey. You're only getting two and a half ounces, seventy five ml for a hundred and hundred twenty, hundred thirty dollars. So yeah, I say I'd say it's kind of pricey, but um, if you if you were looking for something good and you're willing to pay a few extra bucks to get it and you just want a banger for your collection, this this is it. Um, as far as blind buy safe, yeah, there's no one that's not gonna like this one. Uh, there, you know, I, I, I don't know if I can, I can safely say that, but I'm pretty sure um, this is crowd pleasing, um, mass appealing, but not, not on a generic level. This is some really, really classy stuff right here, guys. This this is niche quality all day long. They they used uh, some really good, um, you know, like licorice root. They used really good um, ingredients to make this one: bourbon, vanilla, uh, Sicilian mandarin orange, or all that all the good stuff that's in here. You know, just uh, 
you get what you pay for. But, um, you know, this is a classic DNA. It's classic. It stood the test of time for a reason. And, and it gets respect from me. And I, and I think you'll respect it, too, if you give it a shot. So, yeah, um, Fragrance Net and Fragrance X both have this. Fragrance X charges a little bit more, but they include the shipping cost in the price. Actually, there was no charge for shipping on this from FragranceNet.com because it was over the threshold of, I believe, $59. So anyway, um, I did use the 35% off discount and it was still around $120 to pick this one up. And it, like I said, I got it in two days. So um, I highly recommend it. Definitely. It's, it's ladies are going to love it. Great date night fragrance. Great uh, for a wedding, for a, a party, any type of gathering. Uh, a summer night, I don't know about summer day, high heat, be careful with that, but uh, definitely winter, fall, spring. Um, yeah, and um, age for this, um, I don't know, 25 and up, even, you know, 20 and up maybe, you know, depends on how mature you are. But I'll tell you what, it is beautiful, guys. I'm telling you, this is some really good stuff. I highly recommend it. Uh, you might want to pick this up if you can afford it. And you want something really good because there's a lot of good stuff out there. And, you know, you just maybe you're afraid to pull the trigger. Uh, but let me tell you something. You could safely blind by this and I'll, I'm almost positive you're going to love it. So, all right, we'll see you next time.